Yeah, one thing for sure, you don't want them guys in your way. I was picking the trash at Baker Distributing one day, and I happened to notice that every single motor in their dead motor bin was an ECM motor. And I had to ask, why? Hello, my viewers. Well, it's been two weeks now since after my surgery, my knee surgery, and I'm feeling a little bit better every day. Um, I'm hoping to be able to go back to work maybe sometime next week. And see, I've got my a beard going on right here. Uh, I wasn't able to shave because I was on a blood thinning medicine. And, uh, you know, maybe some people out there might know about blood thinning medicines that while you're on them, you can't shave unless you use like a shaver or something like that. So, uh, now, anyway, now here's what this video is about. It's about ECM motors. What I have here is a, a GE ECM motor. Okay, now I took this ECM motor out of the uh, like a, a bin that they have for dead motors over at Baker Distributing. Uh, I was kind of really interested in looking at this because there were so darn many of this particular motor in uh, that bin. Well, it turns out that these motors go in Nordine air conditioning systems. Uh, for This is a, a, a three-quarter horse blower motor. Uh, half inch shaft, 48 Y frame, all that kind of thing. Uh, uh, 1075 RPM, of course, but because it's an ECM, it's variable speed. Now, one thing I wanted to find out was what exactly happened with this particular motor. Okay, was it the fact that the motor windings had shorted, or was it the the, the actual drive? unit right here that failed or what? Um, now the best I can tell because if you look at inside of the windings you don't really see where the windings are burnt or anything and here the shaft does turn pretty free so uh, without ohming the windings I'm thinking that what probably failed was this variable speed drive right here. Um, now the problem is that if either part of these go, you have to replace the whole thing. That's $600. Thank you very much. So, I mean, I think that a lot of manufacturers out there, more manufacturers, of these ECM motors really should make the board, uh, the this variable speed board, separate from the actual motor. So that way, the you know, I mean, let's face it, the consumer. I mean, not everybody is wealthy. That way, the, like I said, the consumer would have to only buy one or the other, or both if they want. But because these motors are on the expensive side then uh, you know you can make it a little bit less money um, for the consumer I think if you could actually if they could buy uh, one you know you know the board separate from the actual motor and I know like in a lot of train air conditioning systems you can do that you can actually buy them separate uh, but uh, on this particular ECM motor, it's they're well, they're separate. You see, you can actually disconnect the whole thing right here, right? I mean, there's look at there. I mean, it's separate. But the problem is, is you have to buy them together. Um, I mean, our landfills are getting, you know, kind of busy as it is. But I would think that the motor manufacturer would build an ECM motor that could accommodate the consumer's limited uh, supply and money. So, but, well, that's, that's what I have to say about that. Uh, just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to ohm 
the windings to ground. So far I get nothing to ground there. That's good. And I get nothing to ground there. And I get nothing to ground on that winding. So the windings are not to ground, so that should not be a real problem. I hate underground line sets.